What's good? What's good? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Big Connect. How we doing? Good morning. Good morning. I'm working on a pour over, so I gotta. I gotta go do the thing. I gotta do the pour over. Not the prettiest blim I've ever made. Not the prettiest blim I've ever made. A little worried about it. A little worried about it. Hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully it'll be good. Not dropped frames this early in the morning. No bueno. No bueno. How are we doing, beautiful people? Welcome to the stream. The Checkpoint Church. If you're here, you're early couple minutes early. We always start about five minutes early before stream starts to celebrate the early gang. Those that show up right at the top of the stream. We appreciate you. Show up with the click. Mm, just not my prettiest bloom, dude. Simply not my prettiest bloom. I wonder if I got my water too hot. I'm a little worried I may have burnt the grounds. So this is my first, um, th this is the last of the Guatemala in here and I'm, I'm making my first Matt and Bubba. And uh, I didn't want to make a whole French press. So I kind of eyeballed because I don't have my scale here. So I eyeballed my pour over. And I'm worried either I got the wrong portion of grounds or worse, that I burnt the grounds. I'm not excited about it. I don't want my first cup of Matt and Bubba to be a soiled cup of coffee. It's also my first time using this uh, this pour over. It's not a very good one. It's cheap. Movie, movie game. You got it, Zando. All right. Here is Zando's. Oh, this is a good one. Um, here is Zando's movie prompt. Remember, Zando redeemed this. So if you're not Zando, don't answer. If Zando doesn't get it correct, then it's up for, up for grabs, up for the steal. Um, but it's a combined movie title. I'm going to read the combined movie description. If this movie were to be made, this is the description it would be. Okay, here we go. A spectacled FBI agent is hot on the trail of teenager Frank Abagnale Jr. as he forges checks and identities like pilot, doctor, and B-covered, hook-hand murder guy. Now, this is a good one, <laughs> but that's a tricky one. First off, I don't know how to pronounce that character's name because this movie I've not seen in many, many years. Um, a spectacled FBI agent is hot on the trail of teenager Frank Abagnale Jr. as he forges checks and identities such as pilot, doctor, and B-covered hook hand murder guy. If you candy man, that's it. Chats in the clap for Zando. Catch me if you candy man. What's up trombone? I see your trombones blaring there. Welcome to the chat. Welcome. Welcome. All right, I'm gonna toss this old coffee and fill up with the new, yeah?
here. We're going to hope for the best. Smells pretty good. Smells pretty good. What's up, Wit? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. Right, we got a couple of gotchapons here, Zando. Gonna get your doubles here. I asked for pictures of Spider-Man, and all I got was two quarters for a gotchapon. It does cost two quarters, J. Jonah Jameson. Very, very intelligent of you, my friend. Time to stop mourning and get on with life. All right, you got a celeb reads poetry, Zando. Now it's time for Zando's free one. Here we go. Someone tell me, what's the deal with all of these got chop ons? I mean, come on. I don't know, Jerry. You tell me. You tell me, Jerry. Retro stream for you, Zando. Let me know what retro game you want to see. I'll add it to the list of bonus streams. The ever growing list. No more punch out. I'm not playing punch out again. Goku. I came from the future to help you with the god chop. This is trombones. All right, trombone, your gotcha is very appropriate. Lose the glasses. Once we start stray, once we lose, uh, once we start stray, I'll lose the glasses for five minutes. Cinco minutos. MC kids. I don't even know what that is. I'm excited. Writing it down. Writing it down. All right, Zando Retro MC Kids. You got it. We'll make it happen for you, Cap'n. We'll make it happen, Cap'n. All right, first sip of Matt and Bubba in the morning, pour over, poorly measured, with probably burnt beans. Not burnt, not burnt. Definitely a different taste than the Guatemalan that I just finished. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to give it a good taste test before I give an adequate portrayal of what this is doing for me. And honestly, tomorrow's will probably be better because it's gonna be French pressed. It smells, it smells kind of like, um, like I, I add a little bit of creamer. I always do a little bit of creamer if you guys can see the color. I don't want to spill it. If you can see the color there, I add a little bit of creamer, but it smells creamy beyond the creamer, if that makes sense. It's a McDonald's video game for Ness that had no business being as good as it is. Well, I got to find it now. Yes, love thy nerd mug. Just came in the mail. LTN, we stand. We stand LTN. And um, speaking of LTN... I think it's this one. Yeah. Speaking of LTN, Love Thy Nerd is hosting an ultimate community showdown this Saturday uh, of Fall Guys. And we got lots of peeps in here. Not 10, it does show 10. It shows 10 right here, but there's actually nine teams. One team had to back out. Um, so, Nine of these people that are listed here are going to be competing with teams of six, with squads of six, for the Ultimate Community Showdown on Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Can't wait for the tournament. Agreed. I can't believe you're doing a special stream for my birthday. Absolutely. Is that Saturday? Is your birthday Saturday? Wit, are you playing for any of the teams? I think so. I'm not sure which team. Um, but you can see checkpoint there. We got our little logo there underneath Aki and Peach and next to LTN. Very exciting in God Squad. And also your anniversary. That's right. Crazy, dude. Six years. My wife and I have been married six years and we got two kiddos. What were we thinking? Looney Tunes is what we are. You're on Aki and Peach. Gotcha. Very cool. Well, super exciting. 
Uh, whenever we raided Jate last night, he said that um, their strategy for the Love Clan was to get people that had never played the game before and to let it be their first time playing in the tourney, which I appreciate. I appreciate that. Very fun. Ooh, I need to drop over in the uh, in the general chat. I'm gonna go drop that real quick and let the chat know we're live. At chat, we are live with a new streaming schedule announcement and some kitty cat gameplay. I really thought about. I really thought about playing uh, Xenoblade. I really thought about playing. Um, like anything. <laughs> I thought about playing Xenoblade, I thought about playing Live Alive, I thought about playing Digimon Survive. There are so many games out right now that I want to play. But, we're gonna finish Stray. I gotta start finishing games. There's too many games that I start and they just perpetually remain on the docket. I gotta finish a game. It's gotta happen. Sarah and I are celebrating 11 years this October and then Ben's second birthday the day after that. Ooh, an October wedding is delightful, I will say. A delightful time to get married. But, whew. Whew, whew, whew. 11 years. Yes, yeah, so we've been together 10 years this past March. So we dated for four years before tying the knot. Tying Tie the, the knot. knot. Dope. Ultimate showdown happening this Saturday. Be there, be square, three o'clock Eastern. We'll plan on streaming it. Um, just because gotta get that hashtag content. content. But um, I think that most of the most of the goodness will happen over on the Discord for LTN. Um, that's where we'll be. We've been together 15, so similar story. There you go. Four years is a good time. I thought four years was a great time to date. Um, some people date like a couple months, some people date a couple years. Some people like my sister and brother-in-law, they dated for 10 years before tying the knot. Yeah, so you never really know what people, people do what people do. People do what people do. Oh, I never did the Celebrity Reads Poetry. Uh, William Shatner, here we go. We need to get some peaceful piano up in here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is um, uh, an abandoned to-do list by Nor Unahar from the collection New Names for Lost Things as read by William Shatner. <clears throat> I live to see you die. I live because I knew you'd be dying. The house is there. The house was never there, but I was. The ghosts in some dreams dance. My power was that I could build me a city. I could bury you a hundred times. I could light up the sky with one star. I could name everything that was left without one. I could kill my fate with my bare hands. My power was that I could write you into being. I could scream you into a void and a body would appear. Which is to say, I could summon you with a tiny breath. Take the light, I've saved 400 days worth of it to build a heart with it. The grief was made mine and I will forget it. Your shame will swallow you. There's no denying that. Chat and clap, thank you very much. My brother and his fiance dated for five years and they're getting married in September. I think it's a great time. I think it's a great time. That's a great amount of time to date. Great time to date. My William Shatner, I feel like I need to, I need to develop a like royalty free Ben Folds track and do his sing speak. That would be a good thing to do. Got to run, have a good stream. All good, Zando. All good. We're going to go ahead and do our, um, our our new schedule. It's not really... So here's the thing about the new schedule. I keep saying that it's a new stream schedule, and it is. But it's not really. It's it's kind of an old stream schedule, and a, I just spilled coffee everywhere. I just spilled coffee everywhere.
So hot. Thank you for leather. We love leather. We love leather. What did I get for my free gotcha trombone? You got a lose the glasses once we start playing stream, uh, Stray. Paper towels. So hot. So hot. We love leather. Leather, leather, leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Woo! Very hot. Very hot. I wonder if I should lay down like a towel. Because my britches are soaked. Thanks, LTN Gone. I had it sitting on the edge and then it teetered just enough to spill everywhere. Gotta be lurking for a bit, but I'll catch you later. All good, Wit. Thanks for being here. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Yeah, I might lay down some paper towels. I feel like I don't wanna, I don't wanna like mess up this chair. And I can't just lose the pants. This ain't that kind of dream. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth. The new schedule for Checkpoint Church. So for those of you that have not been in the know of the Checkpoint Church things that have been going on, um, I had a baby. And so I took a month off. And so uh, paternity leave happened back in May, kind of threw us off our game. We took some things away. We changed some things up. We kind of refigured out what's going on. And so our current stream schedule is that I stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday mornings like I'm doing right now. Monday, Tuesday afternoon, Thursday mornings like I'm doing right now. But uh, the game plan was always to bring back uh, Wednesday nights. We just wanted to figure out how to do that. Yep, turns out I did have the baby. I had the baby. Personally, I had the baby. I am, I am on Oprah. I am the baby man. Baby man. The baby man in theaters comes right in. Uh, okay, so here's our new schedule. We are going to be keeping Monday and Tuesday afternoons. That is going to remain as it has been from 1 to 4 Eastern time. As always, Monday, Tuesday, 1 to 4. That's not changing. We are going to start naming the things a little bit cuter. So Mondays is Poke Mondays. It remains Poke Mondays. It's always been a cute name. Tuesdays is going to be Variety Tuesdays because I think that's cute. And it's going to be just whatever we do. We'll always have a voter that'll be posted over on the Discord where people in our community can vote on what game we play that day. Then on Wednesdays, we are bringing back the Game Together stream. However, it's not going to be every week. It's going to be every other week. So for instance, last night we had our Game Together stream. We will not have it next Wednesday, but we'll have it the Wednesday following. I'll try and remember to always update the schedule here on Twitch, but at worst case scenario, the schedule on our Discord under Stuff You Should Know will always be correct. So for real, if you haven't joined our Discord yet, I, it's, it's, it is where all the information happens. If you're ever like, why is this guy not communicating better? It's because it's on the Discord. So Wednesdays, every other Wednesday, we're gonna start doing stream together, or game together. Wednesday mornings, starting next Wednesday, we're starting something completely new called our Nerdy Sermon Talkbacks. Uh, I explained a little bit about this in the newsletter, so if you get our newsletter, then you know a little bit more about this. But the basic gist is that our Nerdy Sermons are asynchronous. So we, they're 15 minute sermons that we post on our YouTube each week. And people really have been kind of asking, like, how can we get into them more? How can we talk about them more? We tried to start a nerdy Bible study and it wasn't time for that yet. So we're going to be figuring out what it looks like to do a nerdy sermon talk back where I respond to your questions. We talk a little bit more in depth, maybe enter into conversation. If you guys are down for that here on Wednesday mornings at nine o'clock. So Wednesday mornings, 9 a.m. every week, we're going to stream for an hour where I will respond to any questions about the Nerdy Sermon. We'll talk more about the scripture that I chose, why I chose it, if I have anything extra to add to it, things that I might have cut out of the script uh, whenever I was writing them, uh, my process of exegesis, whatever you'd like to know about, that's going to be during that time. So we're going to watch it together. 
We're going to hang out and we're going to dive in a little bit deeper to our nerdy sermons. Thursdays, we're going to keep this stream. We're going to keep doing nine to noon, um, Wake with Nate streams every week. Um, I thought about alternating them as well with our game together stream. So we're like, if we, if we have a game together stream, we wouldn't have a Thursday morning. If we have a Thursday morning, we wouldn't have a game together, but I think we're just going to keep it every week for now. We'll figure it out. Maybe eventually they'll swap and we'll do wake with Nate every other week. And we'll do game together every week. It's all about, it's all about figuring it out, but this is where we're at right now. And then Fridays, we're starting something new. Fridays are going to be turning into, let's do an epic announcement. Podcast Fridays. Podcast Fridays is also going to be every other Friday, but we are going to start doing monthly podcasts. More information to come out about that very, very soon. The first one will be August 19th. It's going to be the first and third Friday of every month, with the exception being the first Friday in August because we don't have it ready yet. But every other Friday, you're going to be getting a new Checkpoint Church podcast. We are launching a new podcast that I'll tell you more about very soon once we have more information and graphics about it. But the Nerds of Prey is returning. returning. Nerds of Prey is coming back August 19th. The next episode, episode six of the Nerds of Prey will be live August 19th with Heather Moore. Uh, So that is an exciting thing, a very cool thing that I'm excited to share with you guys. And that's going to be our new plan. So I'll throw this schedule up here and show you what we got. This is also our schedule. If you're familiar with our scheduler that goes up on our Discord, this is what it looks like. Boom. So this is our new our new stream schedule. This does not include all the other things that we do. This is just for streaming. But Mondays, Poke Mondays, Tuesdays, Variety Tuesday, Wednesdays, Nerdy Talk back at nine o'clock, game together bi-weekly. Thursdays, Wake with Nate at 9 a.m. Fridays, Podcast Fridays, also bi-weekly, first and third. So that's it, friends. That is our new stream schedule. That is our exciting announcement. I'm very thrilled to tell you that we are, I mean, that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. If it ever lines up right, we will be streaming five days a week. That's pretty neat. I think that's pretty neat. Um, you know, every other week we'll be streaming five days a week at the very least. Sometimes we'll be streaming six times a week. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. We have a lot of changes that's gonna, that are going to be coming up in the near future, and we're going to continue figuring out. The thing about Checkpoint is that we change every every couple months. Um, things go on and things adapt and things move and change. We're evolving. We're a new church start, and so things are always going around. But this is what we're working with right now. All these times are in Eastern. Uh, so it, that's that's just kind of what it is. I'd love to be able to accommodate our West Coast folks a little bit better or our UK. Well, no, I guess we're actually, we're pretty accommodating to our UK folks, but I'd love to be able to accommodate our West Coast folks better. Um, maybe that'll happen with the next change whenever that happens. But this is where we're at right now. And this is the exciting stuff that we got going on. So yes, thank you for the chats and the clap. Chats and the clap, we stand. We stand all of this fun stuff. Five awesome things, six awesome streams, technically, if you count um, the different days, so. Uh, Most of these streams will be three hours long, with the exception, really, of the Nerdy Talkback and of Podcast Friday. So the Nerdy Talkback, like I mentioned earlier, it'll be an hour, so it'll be 9 to 10 every Wednesday. The podcast, it just kind of depends on how long the podcast is. Um, What I have docketed is an hour and 15, uh, because I feel like that gets me time to get into this podcast, uh, to talk about it a little bit, to welcome you guys to the stream, then to air the podcast. So, yes. Squeaky doesn't have a problem. Boish is the real issue, not getting up early enough. Clearly, clearly, Boish is the problem. Waste. But yes, this is our new schedule. This 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 coffee has a very familiar taste, and I can't quite discern it. I'm trying to figure it out. It's a bitter, it's a bitter taste, but I can't I can't exactly pin down what the flavor is. I know that Sneaky said it got more and more cocoa as you went on. And I haven't gotten the hint of cocoa yet, but I have gotten lots of hints of something. Bleach is the problem, waste. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Welcome, Wit, to the Discord. See, he joined over there. Nice, dude. All right. I come into hints of cocoa. Hints of cocoa. Yep, yeah, that's it. Just hints. Um, but I'm not actually getting the hints of cocoa. Not yet. So I think, Sneaky, I don't know if you were here. You may have been here and just lurking. But so I made I made um, the Bubba, Matt and Bubba, 
but I did a pour over and I don't have my scale, so I just eyeballed it with the grounds and that's not normally good for a pour over, but I did and that's where we're at. And um, I also think I made the water too hot. And so I think that I might have made this cup not as good as it can be. I think tomorrow's cup will be French press and it'll be way better. But this one, I didn't want to do a whole other French press. I just needed one more cup of coffee. So it's good. It's good, but I think it could be even better. I think it could be great because I'm not getting that hint of cocoa like you said, and I want it. I want the cocoa. It is definitely a familiar taste. It's some kind of creamy. Did you ever finish the bad coffee from Judaleska? No, it's sitting over there in my, uh, in my, um, I have like a air compressed um, bean storage. And uh, eyeballing pour overs is very difficult. Yeah, it's quite challenging. And the bloom wasn't pretty. If the bloom isn't pretty, I feel like I know that it's not gonna be a good cup of coffee. Whenever you get that nice, like, um, it's like a, it's like a foam almost, like a light brown foam. If you get that foam, that crust on top, you know it's gonna be a good cup of coffee. And this one didn't really get that. And so that was a bummer. Bloom was not pretty. And so I think that it could be better. You should send the bad coffee to Squeaky to see if he can fix it. I wish I had honestly, I wish I'd kept some of um, Sneaky's coffee beans, just one, so that I could show you guys the difference. You know what, I'm gonna at least get the old, I'm gonna get the bad coffee. Okay, so here's the bad coffee, okay? Ooh, ooh, spider webs. What? That's interesting. Spider webs. I'm glad I didn't like pull out a black widow or something. Let me just show you this bean. I want to see. Maybe maybe it'll show up on camera. Maybe it won't. Let's see if it'll show up. Not my ring. Do you see that light? You see how glossy that bean is? Sneaky's beans were not glossy like that. They, they had more of a matte texture to them. You see how glossy? It's like this bean has been coated in, in oil. It's a very oily bean, yes. And so I think that is the issue. I think it's too oily. Whereas Sneaky's, Sneaky's beans were like matte texture. There was no oil and they were delightful. And honestly, I haven't even looked at the Matt and Bubba. I wonder if the Matt and Bubba is also. I'm gonna go check because now I'm curious. No, so much better. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. I wonder if it'll show up on camera. Look at the difference here. See if we can get it to show. Let me get my big old head out of here. Look at the difference. You almost see no shine on this bean. You see no shine. Surely, surely you guys can see the difference there. This is the difference between these beans right here. Yeah. If I can get them in the light. So this one, this one is the Junaleska bean. And this one is the Matt and Bubba bean. Look at the color. The color is totally different. Totally different. The gloss is totally different. The oil is totally different. You can see the light. Boom. So people want their beans to be. So maybe I just don't like a French roast. Maybe I don't like a dark roast. I mean, I, I definitely have always been uh, privy to a light roast, so maybe that's what it is. Perhaps that's what it is. I did spill LTN coffee all over myself, but I do have the LTN mug nonetheless. There you go. But good morning, Frost. Welcome to the stream. I know nothing about coffee, Rain Plus Cat. I know, I'm learning, I'm learning. Uh, so I was talking about it a little bit. Personally can't stand French. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna allow that. <laughs> Sneaky, how dare you? 
How dare you be so inconsiderate towards the French? Ah, the French. That didn't want to post that because you said can't stand French. That is hilarious, dude. <laughs> I personally cannot stand the French. Um, yeah, Frost. So the story with my coffee this morning <laughs> is that I just finished up Sneaky's Guatemalan. And I only needed one, uh, one cup of coffee. And so I didn't want to do a whole nother French press and I don't have my scale here at the church. So I eyeballed a pour over of the Matt and Bubba. And um, I think I may have mishmashed the, the grounds. And I also may have gotten the water a little too hot. Cause it's, it's not burnt, it doesn't taste burnt. So I'm glad about that, but it's not getting the taste that I'm really um, expecting from Sneaky's estimation. I like a nice cold brew, cold brew. I like the light acidity to the style of brewing. I don't like a cold coffee. I don't like a cold coffee. And so I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck there, but welcome to the stream, Mr. Will Games. Yeah, I'm kind of, um, I'd like to like cold brew because I think that it's a fascinating method, the bag and everything and leaving it out all day. But yeah, I always mess up when I eyeball it. Yeah, so I might have to get a scale for the church if I'm gonna keep doing the pour over. But I was saying yesterday, and uh, I, I tried to do a K-cup coffee, and normally I can tolerate a K-cup of uh, Starbucks Veranda, but Sneaky has ruined me. Sneaky has absolutely ruined me. I could not do it. It was the nastiest thing I've ever had. Killing me. Here's a Mr. Coffee. You know what? A Mr. Coffee can make a good cup of coffee sometimes. Make a good cup of coffee. You get the right beans, I think any cup of coffee could be a good cup of coffee. I directly remember Frost advertising store brand coffee on LTN at one point. Sure. Was it nastier than the Juna beans? Yes. Definitely. The Juna Alaska beans are not nasty nasty. They're just not a flavor that I really dig. Busy on Amazon is a pretty good cold brew. I, I just, I can't get into the cold. I honestly, like I'm the person that's like drinking hot coffee on the beach, right? Like I'm the one that's like, give me the hottest coffee you can when I'm sweating. Whenever I was at Lake Junalesco, so we were at our annual conference that we do each year in the UMC, and we are in this, it's we're in Stewart Auditorium at Lake Junalesco, and it's like 110 degrees in that building. Everybody's sweating and dripping sweat, and there's a coffee shop right next door, and uh, somebody went over to get a cup of coffee for me, and they were like, cold brew, or like frap, and I was like, uh, no, like I want, I, want a, I want a cup of coffee, and they were like, you want a cup of coffee? And I was like, yes, I want, I want a real cup of coffee, I want a hot cup of coffee. So I'm, mm, I love it. I love, love, love a hot cup of coffee, even when it's hot outside. So I can't do cold brew. I was just sharing my thoughts. Obviously, I recommend a local roaster. Sometimes, you know, store brand's not awful. I uh, I just think you've you've got to get the right beans. I still I still like I like Starbucks Veranda. I do, I do. I was raised on Starbucks Veranda in a percolator. It's my favorite my favorite cup of coffee. Is my dad makes uh, the Veranda blend in a percolator and it is just delightful. It brings back memories, you know? It's one of those. It's where it just, you just feel good when you're drinking it. You're like, ah, memories. It's like whiskey, sometimes you can find a killer bottom shelf for cheap, absolutely. Well, considering that my favorite um, whiskey drink is a whiskey sour, I really just want a good lemon taste. <laughs> the whiskey doesn't matter, I just want the lemon. Chills on the side with snide comments because she doesn't like coffee. Yeah. It is a bummer. It's a bummer not to like coffee, especially whenever we've had this lengthy of a conversation about it so early in the morning. I love talking about coffee. It's a delight. I've still got to get the AeroPress. Still got an AeroPress. I wonder if an AeroPress would allow me to, because how much, can you make just a cup with an AeroPress? I could get the little mini French press that only makes one cup, but that just seems silly. I'd much rather go and spend a bunch of money on an AeroPress <laughs> than a tiny French press. If you have, have to buy store-bought, I recommend five o'clock. It's surprisingly tasty. Good to know. Frost nip on fingertips from walking to work with a cold brew when it's negative 36 in Fargo. I can't imagine. I cannot imagine choosing a cold brew when it's cold outside. I don't even like a cold ever, ever. So that's the polar opposite of me. Yakeem, you're the, you're the polar opposite of myself. I'm the one that's drinking hot coffee in the hot. You're drinking cold coffee in the cold. Yes, you can make one cup in an AeroPress. Man, I'm telling you, the AeroPress gets more and more tempting every day. 
for a nice, a nice, a nice way to do it here. Hmm. And I imagine, it, can you just do, I, I've got to look it up. i got to look it up. i got to look up the air press. got to find it. Got to consider it. Maybe they'll have one at the Marshalls. The Marshalls. I can get one way cheap there. It feels like a, a tchotchke that they would have at the Marshalls. Or like a TJ Maxx. Nate, you should take a peek at the game I'm playing at the moment when you have a chance. Hey, very nice. Are you on? Are you on chapter two? I'm trying to convince this little bean of mine to do a uh, frostbite roast specifically for cold brew. I didn't know there was a specific type of bean that's like better for cold brew. I just assumed it was the weird bag method or whatever. Uh, my, my knowledge of cold brew is very minimal. All I know is the bag thing. Restart on another save because it's been so long. Oof, you gotta go through all that reading again. McDoohoo would not be happy. I didn't either, but that's what they tell me. Very interesting, very interesting. I'm curious. They, I would imagine that anybody that owns a roastery and an online roastery at that has got to know a lot about coffee. That's my favorite position on coffee is that I will talk about it and I will rave about it and I will try anything, but I always defer humbly to whoever else is around. I'm like, you know more than me. You may not know more than me, but I just assume you know more than me about coffee just because I want to talk about it like that. Mr. Will and Yakim are in the same boat as, as far as coffee goes. Pastor Jonathan, thank you for the follow. We're bringing out the pastors, talking about coffee, talking about coffee, and the pastors come flocking in, right? Some beans and roasting methods are better for cold brew. Sneaky, I am just honored that I am among the last few to get to try your roasted coffee beans. And I, I honestly, by the end of it, I really liked the Ethiopian, but I really liked that Guatemalan. I very much enjoyed it. I honestly couldn't decide between the two of them. What's up, Emo? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. We've been talking for 30 minutes about coffee and our new schedule. By the way, for all the people that have lurked in here for a bit, we have a new stream schedule, but boom, I'll post it up on the screen. I already went over it a little bit earlier, but just to let you know some of the things that are going on here at Checkpoint as we're, we're moving and shifting around. Pokemon Mondays every Monday, one o'clock. Riot Tuesdays every Tuesday at one o'clock. Uh, Wednesday mornings, we're going to start responding to our nerdy sermons. We're going to talk a little bit more about them um, and dive into them and answer questions about them. So if you care about our nerdy sermons and you just want to be in community and talk about them in a deeper sense, kind of like a Bible study, we're going to be doing those every Wednesday morning. Um, our Game Together stream is coming back every other Wednesday night from 6 to 9. Uh, Wake with Nate, which you're at right now, is going to be every, every Thursday from 9 to noon in the morning. And then every other Friday, we're going to start doing a Podcast Friday. We've got two podcasts that are about to start airing monthly. Uh, they're going to premiere on Twitch live, 2 o'clock, um, starting August the 19th, and then every other week from then, until we decide to take a break, if we take a break. But yeah, that's the new schedule. We're excited about it. Excited about it. Also, since Frost is here, boom, Ultimate Community Showdown. I mentioned this at the top of the stream, too, but folks, Saturday, 3 o'clock, be there, be square. Come and watch Checkpoint win. Where two or three pastors are gathered, some coffee beans must be ground. I love it. That sounds like, uh, you know, I love that, but that would also be on like a cheesy shirt at the um, Christian bookstore. And it would be like, Hebrews. Hebrews. 316. Taking a break, says Emo. I'm tired. This heat in Europe is insane. We got two tasks for today. Both are done. There's still four and a half hours left from the shift. Oof. How are y'all doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I got one last full day of Bachelor Weekend. Absolutely be on a coffee mug. So stoked and nervous. I'm I so we actually asked this question today over on our um, Discord channel. Our question of the day was, um, do you have a like do you have a competitive edge? What game brings out the competition in you? And um, I've talked about this before. I have literally no competitiveness. I am not competitive at all. I don't have a competitive bone in my body. I never have. Dude, any game. <laughs> You'll be like, come on, I gotta beat you in Cooking Mama, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm totally gonna own you in Cooking Mama right now. No way. I, I can't. I can't be competitive. I wish I had it in me because I think that I would be better at things if I was, but I can't. 
We played Monopoly, Monopoly on my stream last night and people called me out for being competitive. Now, Monopoly is one game that is notorious for dividing families to bits, so I get it. I get that one. That one makes sense. Honestly, I think if I was gonna be competitive about anything, it'd probably be a board game or like a card game. I'm pretty competitive when it comes to the trading card game, Pokemon, Magic, any of them really. That's where I get, that's where my competitive edge comes out. But even then I'm still, I'm, I'm a really good loser. <laughs> that's a good quote. That's a quote. I'm a good loser. I would not sell a yellow space. I took it to my grave. My island on Animal Crossing will dominate for real. You guys, my Animal Crossing island is better than anybody's. That's all I'm saying. I'll put it on the table against anybody. I win. I'll win 10 times out of 10. There's an outage in the area I'm in right now, but I won't care about that until they call me to solve the issue. If it was like 10 Celsius colder, I would care. A good temperature where an outage doesn't matter. We need to play some cat game, don't we? We need to play some cat game. It's already 940. Holy moly. Wild. Positively wild. I've honestly not seen an, an Animal Crossing Island top my wife's. My wife's. Well, that's very impressive. There's one out there that um, is probably my favorite Animal Crossing Island, and it's the Stardew Valley one. If you've never seen that, you gotta, you gotta Google Stardew Valley Animal Crossing, and uh, somebody recreated Pelican Town on their Animal Crossing Island, and it's very impressive. It's a solid recreation. That always amazes me. I do not want any spoilers for Stray. Oh no! You'll bing it. Gotta bing it. I don't know if we've had any Moviga, no, Movigites hop in here yet. All good, Rain Plus Cap. All good on the Lurk. I feel you. I had to Lurk last night on Jade's stream because I didn't want any spoilers myself. I'd like to finish it today, but considering we've already talked for 45 minutes, I don't know if that'll be happening. I got a feeling. I got a feeling that will not be happening. Go get my PS5 controller real quick. First, we gotta check and make sure there's no update. There may very well be an update. Ba -boing. Your Eldado device, device is not detecting, not detecting any signal. signal. Oh. Before I lurk, beans! You got it. I asked for pictures of Spider-Man, and all I got was two corners where I got chopped on. Two J. Jonas in the same stream, huh? No beans. No beans. Let's see what it is. A another celebrity reads poetry. Let me know a celebrity, uh, Rain Plus Cat, or exclamation point celeb, or auto gen a random one that we've got on a list. Ooh, that sound. We gotta turn off Spoofy. Goodbye, Spoofy. Whoop. Thank you. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Why not? I don't. I've never really worked on a Macho Man, but we'll go for it. All right. So this is. Um, hang on. We actually need to. Uh, we need some peaceful piano. I wonder if uh, Stray has some peaceful piano music. I really haven't. I like this one because it has. It says "Listen again." <laughs> okay. So this is. Uh, I am forgetting or. That's a little loud. That's a little loud. But it's it's kind of contemplative. This is contemplative, I would say. Yeah, let's turn it down a little bit. Okay, this is I am forgetting or I am forgetting or half forgiving from the collection of new names for or excuse me, new names for lost things by Nor Unahar as performed by Macho Man Randy Savage. Listen! To forget is to half forgive! Who unearths the dead? To announce, you're not alive to me anymore! They will never be not dead! Listen! Suppose this body is a nameless skeleton of water, coming from all the wrong directions! Suppose it has forgotten its origin, or half forgiven it! Suppose now it is 70% more important than the rest of your bodies! Listen! We have been the moons in foreign skies. So dreams of snow and emeralds need the flower badly. Braid your hair into loose knots. Scratch the daylight off your walls. 
water all your dead plants and dried flowers and withering dreams. Be the thing you were named after. Chats in the clap, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Macho man. We're two and a half hours in, and as I understand it, this game is five hours long, so I do not think we'll be beating it today. Thanks for the gotcha, Rain. Appreciate ya. Did we do the new stream schedule? We did, Stained. We did, we did. I'll be posting a video of it, I'm sure. Okay. Cat time. I actually don't remember where I am. Is it gonna, is it gonna, like, welcome me back in so that I know what I'm supposed to do? So I just saved somebody. I just saved, um, the doc. I don't remember Doc's voice at all. Hi, Teddy. What's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy. Um, so the new stream schedule, Monday, Tuesdays stay the same. They're now Poco Mondays, Variety Tuesdays. Wednesdays, the Sermon Talkbacks start this upcoming Wednesday at 9 o'clock in the morning. Every other Wednesday, we'll be doing Game Together stream from 6 to 9. Uh, Thursdays, we're going to keep Wake with Nate at 9 o'clock in the morning. And on Fridays, every other Friday starting August 19th is going to be Podcast Friday. We're going to be airing a new podcast, one that I'm not talking about yet. And the other one is going to be Nerds of Prey making its grand return on August 19th. Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Boombastic. Do you know my son Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back to that place. Okay, is that it? Well, I don't know what to do next. Hmm. Hello, Guardian. Momo will meet you at the sewers to help you with the rest of your Well, there you go. Thank you so much. Okay, Momo. Momo! Let's see if I can remember how to play this game. Boing. Hello, Momo. Oh, you're Benzo. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but well, have you done everything you wanted in here? You won't be able to come back. I'll close the door behind you. Ooh, I'm not a completionist. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll manage. Boat time. Hey, Momo. Jump on the boat when you're ready. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, this is the crazy, crazy guy. Kooky guy. Hop on the boat. I'm going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship, going through the sky. I can't believe you found Doc and got the Dufluxer. With this, we can go find the Bouncer. Let's go! Okay. She got it. She got it. Let's make it happen, Captain. How's everybody's weeks ending up? the sewers. Hopefully your weeks are wrapping up nice. Anybody looking forward to a big weekend? Except for the Ultimate Community Showdown, of course. Obviously that's everyone's huge weekend plan, but anything else planned for the weekend? Also, Pastor Jonathan, if you're still here, tell us more about yourself. How did you find us? Did you did you genuinely find us from Coffee Talk? <laughs> if so, that really is amazing. We also had some other new people join us. Mr. Will Games, how did you find us? Did you just want to watch some Stray, or did you... Um, did you also get summoned by Coffee Talk? We're happy you're here. We are Checkpoint Church. Church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. We're a church plant here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. Doing all the fun things. I've already mentioned the stream schedule several times. We're also on Discord every single day of the week. Every, every, every single day. Boop. Thanks, Momo. Oh, no, do I have to open this? Boing. Man, thank goodness he had a cat with him. What would he do? What would he do if he didn't have a cat to unlock puzzles? Bow. All right, I guess I gotta open this door. That looks like a way to open it. That definitely looks like a way. Well, don't like whatever those are. Not a fan. If I may be so... Oh, okay, that's what they are. That's what they are. How do I shoot again? How do I shoot? How do I do the thing? How do I shoot? I can't remember. It's this one. It's this one. 
It's L1. Okay, good memory, good memory. Okay. All right, well, I knew those things looked pretty sus. And I was correct. Oh, me. Oh, well, he just, he just wasn't having it. All right, here we go. Boing. Save the day. Okay, now I gotta hop back on. Is he gonna, is he gonna come close enough for me to hop on? Surely. I did it. We did officially reach 300 people in the Discord yesterday, and that was big, big claps. Big chats in the clap. Very excited about it. I've never been this far out of the slums. With you here, I'm not even scared. That's because I'm a cat. Cats help the day. I see you. I see you up there. I see you. You're going to drop down on us. I just know it. This ain't no Disney ride. Maybe not. Maybe not. Is anybody planning on playing any of the new games that I talked about? Because I'm very excited about all of them. And there's too many games coming out at once, and it kind of stresses me out. Because I want to play all of the games. Other than the Fall Guys showdown, no major plans for the weekend. Thankfully, looking forward to some good, quiet family time. That is wonderful. Oh no! What went wrong? Momo! What's up, bud? All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. That's not your voice. Well, who's going to open that manually? Because that's a big old door. You're going to pull that chain? You're going to pull that chain. Wow, you are a tough boy. I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zabaltzer and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Aw, Momo! Oop, don't like this. He has robot strength. Obviously. Obviously robot strength. Who would assume robots aren't strong? Not me. Not I. Ooh, now that is just pure crystal white, huh? It's also the last weekend before my boys head back to school, so we'll try to come up with something fun. It's also my daughter's first weekend before school, and I don't know how to feel about it. I'm like half excited and half dreading it, you know? It's a little both. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to I don't have to fight them. That's kind of fun. I don't have to do the thing. I can just run past them. Good to know. Pass this route. It's Tundertail. I love being a cat, you guys. Brings me the most joy. Cat game brings me the most joy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This seems considerably more tricky to avoid. Run. Not possible. I'm fine. We're fine. I'm fine. This is fine. <gasps> hey, a button. Wee. Well, now that just seems rude. This just seems very rude. OK. 
Okay. Still in the upside down. Trombone did maybe 30 finish the game. Do you know? I didn't know there was one on me! I wasn't even looking at the kitty cat, I was looking around me! Don't think he finished it. Bloop! Alright, let's do it again. Again! Again! I wish they didn't feel so unavoidable. We had finished it the other day. Okay. Now they're gonna bombard me again in here. Can they come from that way? No. Come on! Come on! What do I need to do? What do I need to do? It's on him! It's on him! The light is too specific! I need to make the light a little bigger. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! More! A little chatty. Can I climb that? Oh my goodness. Come on. So many waves. So many waves that it won't let me not trigger. Yeah, it's another wave, yep. Yeah. Ah, wow! Okay, that one kind of got me. Kind of got me. By the way, this hasn't been announced yet, but I need to announce it pretty soon. Um, I will be guest preaching at a church on the 7th, which is next Sunday. Any of you North Carolinians out there? I'll be back at my dad's church again, Hillsdale UMC in Advance, North Carolina. And I may be, um, I may be preaching here in Lincolnton before too long, just because of uh, Jonathan Lamaster Smith asked me the other day. Bloop. About the possibility. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm kind of just guessing at this point, you know? It feels like it's pushing me that way towards the bright lights. I hope that I'm correct. It looks like another of those doors, though. All right, B12. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that? I'm sorry. What was that? Did not work. It's very tense. There's very tense music, but I'm not I'm not quite sure why. Incredibly tense music and just not sure why. Did something open somewhere that I'm not privy to? Ah! Ah! What on earth? It's still not, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. 
the other side. Got it. There's another computer panel. The greatest, most perceptive gamer. And the most perceptive gamer award goes to Nerd Pastor Nate. Come on, man. Those are eyeballs. Ooh, ooh, don't like it. Ooh, don't care for that. Can I pop them? Nope. I don't like eyeballs. The eyeballs make me uncomfy. Eyeballs make me very uncomfy. Don't like them, no. Don't like the eyeballs, no. Okay. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. This is fine. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Don't like the eyeballs. They're so glossy. Yay, the other side. Yay, we did it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Whoop. Uh, what's it? No, the eyes are bigger. Ooh, this is grossing me out. Ugh. Disgusting. This is fine, I'm fine. This is fine, I'm fine, this is fine. Uh oh. We're surrounded. No. What's about to happen? Why is it so tense? No! My weapon! Oh, no. We're back to weaponless. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Your weapon? What about my friend? B12 is my friend. B12 is my weapon. My weaponry. Let's see if I made the right choice. Did I make the right choice? No! I did not! I did not make the right choice! Ah! No! B12 is my friend. Nice. Made it just in time. B12. Oh, that's pitiful. Oh. Oh, he's awake. It was dark. I was alone and felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The deflux servo is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. I lost my gun? My weapon! How will I survive? Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Boing. Okay, off we go. Oh, person. It me, my cat. Baladin, a traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us early, the little outsider? Zabaltzer, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Zabaltzer, let's meet, friendo. Uh-oh, uh -oh. okay, glitched a bit. Ant village. En village. Let's do it. Love this. Into it. This machine, the scientist I assisted, used one of these. 
He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. Are you him? No, you're not. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years until a little cat appeared. So you are the human. <gasps> it you. Your consciousness. Was it? It was me. I was the scientist. By Coldplay. I was human. I... I need a moment. I just realized I'm Grizz Martin. Why do I have memories of Gwyneth Paltrow? Oh no, it didn't end well. What is goop? <laughs> I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Too busy thinking about goop. So I can't talk to any of these people? Excuse me. Were you playing Mahjong? Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Boing. Hey, are you guys still playing? You guys wanna, you need help? Okay. I was gonna offer to help, but it's cool. It's cool. What's up there, buddy? Boing. What's up, friendo? How you doing? Hey, talk to me. Talk to me, wake up. Chrissy, wake up! I don't like this! Oop. This way. Hello. Can I sleep on your bed? This appears to be a cardboard bed. Not comfortable! How come he gets a cushion and all you get is cardboard? Boing. 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 A swing? Well, this is a delight. Hmm. I love this. I want to sit. Sit comfortably. Oh, this is just like my real life cat. Won't sit down. Sit down, Samson. Sit down. Samson. Sit down. Samson. Sit. Sit. Sit down, Samson. Sit. Sit, buddy. Uh oh. Oh no. Thought I glitched there for a second. Got a little scared. Got a little scared. Is this a sneaky secret? Did I discover a sneaky secret? This doesn't feel like somewhere I'm supposed to be. Oh, now you sit. Classic Samson. <laughs> Off we go. I kind of forgot about the hold down thing. I appreciate that the ladders have cat stoops. What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? What does Viva La Vida mean? I wanted to open the city, but is there anyone even left to save? Did I used to rule the world? What is this? Whoa! It's that face! Hey, didn't know you. Uh, didn't you, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Thanks. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. Should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you'll be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Thanks, Zabalt, sir. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? I love that the one person that's human, I gave a robot voice. Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more about the, the companions or head onward to Midtown. Let's go to Midtown.
Oh, now they don't have cat stoops, huh? Now they don't have cat stoops, huh? Okay, okay. All right. Well, I need to go uppies. I need to go uppies. Oh, there we go. Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see it? It's still missing some colors, though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Man, there's so much I could do. I will probably end up playing more of this game off stream and doing some of the side quests and stuff. But sometimes you just gotta complete a game, you know? Sometimes you just gotta complete a game. Yes, it is me, the small and agile one. Oh, is this it? I already did it? Wow. Well, yeah. Good for me. I'm the greatest. Gamer. Right, where are we at now? Doop. Is my weapon back? Nope. Is it the subway? Subway? Look, this is the subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. My daughter was named Apple or whatever. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Oh, I absolutely want to rip that. No? Bummer. over here. Oh, hello, friend. Le dog. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, remember. There's a memory. Memory. Let's do it. There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy. The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing. It was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling. Almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. Hardcore agree, Chris Martin. Whoa! What's wrong? No, what's going on? Why are you guys fighting? Come on. Come on. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool, bro. What's going on? What's going on, you guys? Cool your jets, huh? Cool your jets. I'm just a kitty cat. Come on. Peacemaker. Yeah. Something tells me you're not. Please state your identity. Cooperate or we will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Oh my. Let's go towards the bright lights, I suppose. Catwalk! Midtown. Love this neon aesthetic. Hello, construction worker, sir. Garay. The Nickel Corp, we uh, work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it's been a while since we had any news from them. Sure, Gary. Eh? This merchant crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends not to hear me every time I try to comfort him. If it wasn't for the Sentinels on parole, we'd end up with spare parts. Did you just threaten that man? Is that a threat? Bouncer? 
Club's closed. Get lost. Oh, I'm getting in that club. Oh, I'm getting in that club. It's happening. Get used to it. Goodness, there's so much to see. Hey, Grand. Just enjoying the hologram there. Let's ask a merchant, huh? You mean? You mean? What can I do for you tonight, Chef? Oops, oopsie. You guys know Clementine? You know what, my friends? Stay away from the Sentinels. They're vicious. They got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years. Be careful. I just walked past the elevator and I got yelled at by the Sentinels. For years we've been told that the service is uninhabitable. We just accepted it as fact. But why? Is this the elevator? Are you the elevator, boys? I want in. Okay, I guess you don't talk to me because I'm a cat. Hello. Do not proceed further. The access to the outside is fully restricted and the elevator has been disabled. The exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. All right, so I guess I gotta find Clementine. Clementine's gonna help me figure out how to break out of here. We're gonna get past the Sentinels. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Hello, friend. Anybody in here? Excuse me. Excuse me, wake up. Grancy, wake up. Who might you be? Hmm? It's the trendy shop in Midtown, but the shopkeeper's pretty grumpy. I love grumpy people. Come here, grumpy friend. Grumpy friend! Are you grumpy? Are you one of those young punks listening to loud music all day? Yeah, that's me. I'm a cat. Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise and don't ask for credit. Okay. I'm gonna go touch things back here. Oh. Are you in the changing room, my friend? It looks great on you. Excellent job. I'm going to ruin this furniture. I hate furniture! I'm going to turn on the loud music now. Loud music time. Thank you. That is not an item that I can use. I guess I gotta find a loud record. Oh, this feels like a side quest. Clementine! Oh, Clementine! Where are you, baby girl? Are you Clementine? Hello. Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, the next day my other arm too, and then my body, and so on, until I've replaced all of my parts and upgraded my software. Will I be the same bot you're talking to now? Well, missed opportunity to name you, um, Theseus. So I gotta find the record? I gotta find it? Okay. I don't like this. Really. Hello. Hello, construction worker. Sorry, little one. You can't play over here. The Neko Corp uh, factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. You can wait a few years. We'll uh, open right back up. Yeah, I don't think I got that. I don't think I got that. I need to find a cassette. Was it in that same building, or is it somewhere else? Hello, friend. I'm busy. What do you want? Oh, I need to be showing, I need to be showing the thing. Silly, goofy boy. You know this person? Buzz off. Okay, never mind. Maybe I don't. Excuse me, do you have a cassette? Does anyone here have a cassette? Do a cassette in here, Chef? Excuse me, Chef. Do you have a cassette in here, Chef? Doesn't look like it. No cassettes. Maybe I need to find a young punk that listens to loud music. Ooh, this looks ominous. 
I tried downloading an aimbot to be the best at this game, but ended up with a mal malware. I'm not sure why, but everything seems odd now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could imagine that. You are an Instagram camera. I've mastered every game that ever existed, but I can't figure out how this one works. Am I not seeing the whole picture here? Can you tell me who this is? I've seen this girl before, I think. She was looking for information about all sorts of old machines. Weird. I don't know Tone, and I like uh, pretty much everything. Hey, do you know Clementine? Mimeth? Do you know this person? Nice picture. I've seen this girl before, I think. She was looking for a very... Oh, oh okay. Do you all say the same thing? bartender son. What will it be today, little sir? Our world must seem gigantic from your little eyes. Wish I could be as tiny as you so I could explore new hidden places. Okay, yeah, you all say the same thing, doesn't Nope, nope, don't want to talk to you again. Don't want to talk to you. Don't care. Just trying to talk to this person here. Christy, wake up. I don't like this bonsai. I love it. Okay. Talk to the dude in the alley. I'll find a dude in an alley. That's an alley. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee. <laughs> nice. Nice. Cool. Love it. Love the jokes. Even if this customer bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. I don't want to spoil anything, but you're also right near a bunch of things you need to do and haven't talked to the correct people. I'll keep working around. Working my way around. Hello, sir. You've been in the city below? I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. Do you know Clementine? Excuse me. Hey! Fifi. Cool. No, oh, cool. You just keep on, keep on doing you, boo. Keep on doing you. person that like doesn't like the person. Okay, this is a dude in an alley. I don't think it's the right one though. And there was also this cranky dude in an alley. talk to you yet? Sorry, shop's closed. I'm waiting for the lily guys, but it seems they're taking the sweet time. Mm, what's that picture? Oh, I know her. She's one of those people who's obsessed with the outside. Ooh, is this a new area? Okay, cool. Ah! You look like a young person who's obsessed with music. Life's boring since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. You look like you'd have music, though. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Jima, Miko, and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? I can do this. I can do this. We don't need no security cameras. But how do I break it? How do I break it? <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Do I have to unplug them or something? Well, 
thought I knew what I was doing. There's one up there as well. I can definitely get to these things, but I don't know what to do when I get there. Did it just fall out of the wall? Okay, one down. I don't know what to do with you. Did it fall as well? All I gotta do is jump on them and jump off and they fall. Okay. Where's the third one? Number three. Maybe it's up higher. There it is. It was not up higher. I wish I could write it down. That would be very fun. I did it! And now I get a cassette tape and then I go annoy the man. Could I get a cassette? Simone. Well done, I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize, you earned it. Nice, loud. I got a loud music. Now I gotta find that guy's shop again. Doo -doo -doo. Not there. Not there. Is there yeah, it is. Boom jams, music time. Whoop. Let's do it. Oh yeah. I'm also going to destroy his property as I'm doing this. Yeah! I'm a loose cannon, baby! What you got that I don't got? I'm destroying your stuff! Yeah! I'm gonna ruin your life! I'm a bad cat who don't follow the rules! <laughs> cat jam! Am I supposed to steal something from him while he's back here? What shirt? What shirt? What do I need the shirt for? Did I do it? How do I check my inventory again? I don't remember. Do I need to give it to the bouncer? Okay, now I have the jacket. It looks like a construction jacket. So I gotta go talk to construction workers again? Or does Blazer want it? Blazer, do you want it? It looks like what you're wearing. Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. But what if I have this item? Nice jacket. You work at the factory? Yes. Let me in. I work here. Um, can I go back and spend free time with other people afterwards, or do I need a separate save for that? So you can do it on um, later playthroughs. You can play it again, and on New Game Plus or whatever, talk to him again. I'm busy. What do you want? What do you, what do you want? I got, I got this. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I'm showing you the thing. Go away. No. Blazer. Blazer doesn't want it. Trombone. Blazer doesn't want it. Blazer's not interested. Somebody wants into the factory? Do you want in? You got a jacket already. Let's see if the sign's giving me hint. Residency. Shop Street. So she was in residency, from what I recall. 
Maybe there's somebody else in residency that I need to talk to. I'm real curious about that question mark. Is the Riddler here? There was someone in the alley who wanted it because they wanted the jacket and hat, which the dude just told you about. No, I don't have her address. She's just one of these homes. Oh, hello. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? I spent the whole week preparing this session. Ah, D&D. &D. I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it, but let's play anyway. I'll go in that cave. Let's go. What, those people? These are the people I've already talked to. They gave me the cassette. <laughs> Never to talk to these people. Enjoy your song. You'll love it. Yeah, these are the people that gave me the cassette. Let's see if there's any other people to talk to in the residency. You're doing great, Trombone. You're doing great. You're doing great. Oh, who are you, sir? What are you exactly? Quadruped making cute sounds? I like the concept. Thanks. I like your concept. <gasps> what is this? Secret, Secret tunnel. Hey yo. Are you Clementine? I thought you were a sin never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Wait, has a bolster finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How do you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. Now, I've been looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. Not the red string. Red cable, excuse me. I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Neko, Neko Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. It is Blazer. He's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Look, you were right. Spoilers, trombone. The story is always the same. Yes. You really, you have minimal control over Danganronpa. It's really a, it's really a means of, means to a, of like, successfully getting to the end of the story with your logic. It's more of an Ace Attorney style, like, visual novel than a, um, like, affected choice. You can get different dialogue if you have friends, if you have different stuff going on, sort of, but not really. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing, don't hesitate to ask around for help. This city is full of information. Just stay clear of those sentinels. All right, Bomber Jacket Man. Let's do it. Make it happen, Captain. Oh. Right, we're gonna find Blazer again. I know there was a quest for getting all of Saika's dialogue, and I wasn't sure. Yeah, there'll be there'll be more opportunities to get dialogue. In post game stuff, new game pl new game plus stuff. So was I supposed to get a hat too? I definitely didn't get a hat. I guess I'll go talk to him before I make any decisions. 
I was trying not to spoil anything. I mean, that's the very first spoiler in the game, so it's not a huge deal. There are definitely bigger spoilers. I'm busy. I got a note for you. Where did you get that? Oh, you're with us, uh, my contact. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. The, pow the battery is powering the Neko Corp factory right there. But this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet. I stay here to check. Well, I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Okay, I gotta get a helmet. I guess I gotta go talk to that guy. See if he can tell me how to get a helmet. At Neko Corp, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking downstairs, it's been a while since we had news from them. Nice jacket, you work at the factory? Not helpful, Gary. Not helpful. Okay, so it doesn't matter who, choo who I choose to spend time with. Not really. It really only matters in the to the extent of uh, who you want to um, be friends with. Yeah, there's no hat here. <laughs> right, to get through the game, no. You can actually go through the entire game without doing free time. You can skip free time if you don't want to do that part. I would advise doing it just because it's fun. Right? I'm not seeing a hat. Am I crazy? Hmm. Wouldn't we be dealing with theft right now? <laughs> Should I show him the jacket? <laughs> you like free time. I do as well. Hmm. Where could I get a hat from? Is it rude to give Hifumi bird seed? I don't know if Hifumi would like that or not. Who would want bird seed? I'm trying to think of the cast. Who would even be down for that? Where is a hat? You have a silly hat. No, no hat. Do you have a hat? Does anyone have a hat I could use? Rose tea to Saika? I think the rose tea might be... Um, may have been Saika. You can find all that stuff online, of course, if you want a guide. A lot of opportunities to sing Chrissy Wake Up during this one, huh? Friendos, I need a hat. Anybody have a hat I can borrow? Anybody have a hat? Any hats anywhere, huh? I like to do things without guides, but I also get fresher without guides. Well, you may need a guide for this game at some point. Fair warning. You may get frustrated with Danganronpa without a guide. What did the other guy in the alley tell you? He told me the shop, but I didn't see one in there. <gasps> Hello. The person arrested was not Clementine. Continue to search. I think he said the shop, and I didn't see one. He said the shop, but there's no helmet in here. It ain't here. No helmet. Not down here. Not back here. No helmet. Oh, there's a hat shop? I thought it was just the shop. No, I wanted to actually read that. Crazy way up. I don't like this. Oh, 
Ooh. Digicode. It's not in the Digicode thing, is it? I do not feel like doing like that. 2458. Oh, but it's code backwards. <laughs> it's 8542. Such a good gamer. The greatest, some might say. What was it? <laughs> 8542. 8542. Did I link you a guide? I feel like I did at some point. Oh, whoopsie. Is there a helmet? No, it's a badge. I don't want a badge. I want a helmet. All right, we continue to look. Shop Street. Okay, so it's got to be on Shop Street. Excuse me. Right, that's the club. It's like the police station. Is that the hat shop? No, that's like a restaurant. Where am I gonna buy a hat? Is there a hat in here? It's a hair cuttery. You know, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. What's that weird feeling? <sighs> Where is the helmet? I need it. Back here. method of getting into the hat shop. So I have seen it. It's just not open. Was there like a giant hat on top so that I can know which one it is? Because I ain't seeing it. I see. You're the hat guy, Hattor. Understood, okay. You gotta make your place easier to find, my friend. Okay, well, there's clearly a ramp right there. Is that how I get up there? you. Can you help me get into the hat shop? I've been waiting for ages for Stablachi to get back and help me restock these hats. The boss is not happy. Get the guy slacking off the bar again. He has another thing coming. I gotta get in the bar? I see. Do I have to get the guy from the bar and then get in the box and then the guy carries me in inside the box? Is that what I'm supposed to do? The one that was asleep. Okay. Grissy, wake up. I don't like this. Grissy, wake up. Where's the bar? Let's find the bar again. Not there. There it is. Bar friend! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake 
Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Go to work. Do I need to get to the box? Go! Get to the box! I gotta go to the box! Where'd it go? There it is. Go, 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 go. I assume this is this is the way. I'm assuming. You know what happens when you assume. What's in the box? Don't, Don't look, look in, in here. here. Don't, Don't look, look in the in box. box. Thank you. Meow. What if I what if I meow right now? <laughs> I'm not that heavy. Don't you dis digitize sweat on your head right now. I'm not that heavy. that in fact steel thievery now do i have to get out without being caught or can i just run out i don't see an effective way of getting out without being caught i did it oh nope wrong way now I just gotta find Blazer guy again. Blazer! Friend! I did it! Perfect, that jacket is exactly what we need. Now I need a worker helmet. Excellent, this helmet will do the trick. I'll get dressed now, mind turning around? Oh, he's bashful. He's a bashful boy. Yeah, you're a natural. These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Uh, okay, hop in the box. I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. But I'm bump. It's us. We are the checkpoint. It's the checkpoint you made along the way. I'm trying to meow and it won't let me. Is this Meowdle Gear Meowdle Gear Solid? <laughs> I love it. Can I push the box? No, I can't. So I just gotta run past him. Oh. Nice one, thanks. Nail it. Keeps putting these boxes everywhere, I'm gonna think that I have to use them. Okay, gotta jump across clearly. Let's watch their patterns. No, I was clearly going in the box. Clearly going in the box, but it was not jumping up on the boxes. It was demonstrably false. Alright, so that guy's not gonna stop looking in the alley, so I gotta go around. 
but I'm gonna wait for this dude to leave before I bother. I must have got in just in time that time. Okay. I gotta use the shade of the boxes there, I presume. I don't know what that dude's doing. I don't really know what way to go, though. Could end up going the wrong way. I think I did. Or no, I just need to jump up there. Wee! Oh, I see, but now I can't get across. <laughs> Cute. Love it. Man, you gotta be quick, huh? Quick on the draw. It almost looks like I could just sneak around that corner, though, doesn't it? Oh, too slow. Too slow. Okay, well, I'm done. Done for. Nope, not done for. Might be done for. Got stuck on the box. Stuck on the box. What's he doing now? Now he's looking around. I'm pretty done for. Oh no, he was gonna stop looking at me. Solid. Whatever. Nonsense. Okay, time to try this one again. Can I jump up here? What's the point of this room? Am I supposed to keep going or am I supposed to go that way? <gasps> or did I just open up a shortcut? Ah! Ah! Oh no. Is that a shortcut? I think that might be a shortcut. That's a security camera.
I gonna have to get in that cage? Whoa, okay. Rumi is now lecturing me on the nature of fan function. Fan fiction. Yep. Hifumi does that. Thank goodness the lights were pointing that way, huh? Ah, it's the atomic battery. Uh, I just gotta figure out how to get it open. push this thing. Am I wrong? Do I have to have something that... I don't understand. Oh, what was that? No, comprendo. Hmm. I need something to set there. But what? Can this move? Oh, it's following me. Clearly I need to put that thing over there, but how do I get it over there? I don't know! All right, I can figure this out. I can solve this puzzle, I can do it. Maybe I need to go over there first. Yep, there's another one. Figured it out. Figured it out. Turn off. Thank you. Done did it. Done solved it. Ba-boom. Ba-pow. Come here. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh. Come here, poochie poochie. Come here. Follow me. Thank you. Come here. Doop -de -doop -de -doo. We lo oh no no. Did I get off it? Okay, good. Oh, I'm thinking I might want this battery, yeah. I think I'm gonna take this. Uh oh. Oopsie doops. Looks like I just ruined everyone's day. We got it. Quick, let's get out of here before the Sentinel show up. We gotta get this battery back to Clementine. Of course, I know exactly where to go. We'll lurk while I work. All good, Sneaky. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate your lurk. Oh. Well, that was easy. Was that back to the subway? This is where I first started. Clementine! We did it, Clem! We're thieves! Oh, no. No! Did they get her? You can stop us ringing in our digs. 
You think the criminals eyeing the, my collection of vintage cards? All this work for nothing. You can steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. Oh, well. Oh, okay. We're back to the Sentinels again, huh? And of course they blocked that off back there. Sneaky, sneaky snake. Sneaky little snippy little snake. Gotta get over there, right? Wasn't that where the hole in the wall was? Found it! Nice! Clem! Did! Our battery! Clementine! Clementine! Oh, Clementine. Clementine. Oh. Oh. Clem. Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look. For B12 and the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. Okay. Appears to be a plant, something, a traffic cone, and a lava lamp. Okay, well, there's, there's clearly a lava lamp. You found something? Mm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? It's, it's clearly the lava lamp. That's fine. I guess we gotta go in order. Okay, so first we gotta find the spirally plant. Spirally plant first, where's it at? Oop, that's what the second one is, okay. Plant. That's the traffic cone. So now all I gotta do is find the spirally plant. Oh, there's another lava lamp. Okay. So maybe it doesn't have to be in order. What's up, Weesh? How we doing? No, no, this isn't what I found. Okay, do I have to find the things in order or not? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna just try because now that I found the lava lamp, I feel I feel comfortable. Let's see if we have to find it in order or not. This was number four. I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice the message here. It reads, nightclub. Okay, I already know the answer then. <laughs> Do I need the rest of them? Quote number six. It's quote number eight. Yeah, that is indeed a quote from earlier today. We definitely appreciate Bleach, and he is not a waste. Even if our quotes say otherwise. This gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo, there's a message that says blank blank blazer. Blank blank blank. Okay, I guess blazer's gonna let me into the nightclub. Here's a traffic gun. Traffic gun. Yeah. Ah, uh, what an odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. It says blank, 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 come to blank. Talk to Blazer. Come to nightclub. What was the first one? The plant. 
But I still don't know which plant it is. Let me go check her note again. Can I? Is that anything I can do? Cool. No, that's helpful. I appreciate whenever they don't let me check things again. I know it was on the plants, but I can't remember which one. I feel like it was like one that like stretched up or something. Ah. You found something? No, I didn't find anything. I'm looking for a plant. There's plenty of them here. Plant, 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 plant. Nope, not gonna let me check that one. Cool. Oops. All right, there's also a plant over here. Dude, why can't I check the messages again? I want to check our message. Because it's a plant. Let me check. Why can't I check? Can't I talk to B12? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's like an octagonal planter with a little Bulbazar bulb and a stretchy plant. Let's see if he knows where it is. Bulbazar octagonal plant pot. Are we sure we know? Uh, yes, I know, I know. I wasn't trying to leave. I'm trying to find the octagon. I've checked this entire apartment like a million times. Octagon. Octagon. Am I losing my marbles? I do not see... Oh, is this it? That's not a plant! It showed a plant! It didn't show a hookah! I guess it's a hookah. My sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation. I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. I'm with Blazer, come to the nightclub. I literally knew it from the beginning. Well then, let's go. Yeah. Let's make it happen, Captain. Get me out of here. So is now now the bouncer gonna require a fetch quest of me? It's not for you. Go away. Bribe, I don't take bribes. Who's that anyway? 
All right, do I have to break in? Is there a back door? You look like you know a way in. No. That's gotta be it. Excuse me! Excuse me, friend. Excuse me! Do you mind letting me in? Mind opening the door for a friend, for a pal? I might be overthinking this. Maybe I should go talk to the kids outside. Hello, children. I hate this club, it's full of posers. At least there's no sentinels there. Danger, groove levels at 2%. Please find a dancing spot immediately. Come on. I don't think the bouncer's gonna let us in. Hey guys, I think we're gonna have to climb at the back again. Yes, yeah, so I was doing the right thing. I was doing the right thing. I just gotta find a ledge up. See, I knew I was smart. The greatest gamer does not fail, except for all the times that he fails. Just gotta find that first ledge up. What? You have no business here unless you want your legs replaced by something more fancy, which you don't, so get lost. I actually just want you to tell me how to get up. Like this. Hey, how'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Hey, jump in. Go get a drink. Okay. Oh no way! He's got a he's got a he's got a dragon for a head. That's a cool guy right there. That's a cool dragon head guy. Hey, bartender. Hey, customer. The access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. It's been reserved by some blazer guy. Well, that's why I need to be. That's where I need to be. I need to get to the VIP balcony. Please and thank you. Elevators are closed, huh? You guys want this record or something? Hey everybody, DJ Matsy here. Let's get this party started. The first song has been requested by our very questionable friend Blazer. What's up now? What's going on? I feel like I need to find the switch, but I don't know where it is. All right, I guess I need to talk to people. Hello, friends. This club sucks. When I tried to go get that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me, can you believe it? I stole this lever just for kicks. Well, that was good luck. Good luck by me. I got the first guy. The very first guy. Give me a drink. I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it. You know, I don't want to be caught with it. I guess I got to get a drink. Bartender, 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 buddy, buddy, boy. Hello again. I had several complaints, so no. We can't disable the dancers because some idiot thought it was funny to steal the lever handle. Wait, you want a drink or something? I would. Yeah, how do I tell you that I want a drink? I would like a drink, in fact. Take it. Did you have a hard stopping time today? Yes. Noon. Did I get the drink? Do I have the drink? I guess I do. Nine to noon. Nine to noon on Thursdays. Did I have a drink? Idiot. Idiot that steals the lever. 
Oh, thanks, my friend. Here you go, as promised. You. I don't know exactly what I gave you there, friend, though, but... I gotta get both sides. supposed to be doing? Do I need to talk to more people? I can't help but feel like I need to talk to more people. Hello again. Several complained, so no, we can't disable. Who complained? Did you complain? Did you complain? Alex? Enjoy yourself, little one. Sure. Not you. Did you complain? Nope, you don't care. Did you complain? You like my mask? I made it myself. I think it's super cool. Jams the Sentinel scans and it looks cool. We need that. I'd like that a lot, Viv. I'd like to talk so much more to you about that. I paid extra for today's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Cool, Anna. Okay, that's Bleesh. It's Bleesh! Give it to the left, give it to the right. Beep, boop, sweep, swoop, it's called a gimme dance. Cool. Still really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. What's up, Mapsy? Hardcore! Not helpful. Not helpful. What am I supposed to be doing? I've talked to everyone. Clearly I'm supposed to turn off these, but why? For what reason am I supposed to turn these off? No one else to talk to. Who am I not talking to? How's the drink? Thanks again for the drink. Literally could not care less about you, friend. What do I do, bartender? I don't care. Who complained? Who complained? I've got the handle. I did the handle. Where do I take this battery? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I can't tell if this is just an obtuse mission. Or if I'm ignoring things that I should be doing. Riding to the top. Riding to the top. Pretty obtuse. <laughs> 
pretty obtuse. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say a little obtuse. I don't think I would have figured that out any sooner than I did. Holy moly. Tired. Okay. Now what am I supposed to do? Please no, what am I supposed to do? Not again. Not so soon. Please no. Is there another button? There is. Oh, joyous day. It's a puzzle. So clearly that one. Hi everyone, I'm Eli Pope from Eli from the Discord and Minecraft server. Super cool, welcome to the stream. Glad you're here. Happy to have you. How have you been? How's your Thursday treating you? Hello, Blazer. Raph. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. Uh, uh, cool. Clem, could you not have made this easier? Oh. Oh. Today's Thursday, right? I feel that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Blazer's bad? Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. I wasn't expecting to be backstabbed right now. Blazer, why did you help me get the battery? Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They're all yours. Was that my kitty cat meowing in pain? Because I will find those sentinels. I will hunt them down. Alcatraz, very funny. Very funny. We do a little trolling. Okay. I'm in, I'm in a cage. Despite all my rage, I am still just a cat in a cage. Bay would they say I am still just a cat in a cage? I did it. Now I'm not gonna say that I'm like the greatest puzzle solver or anything like that, but I'm pretty good at puzzles for that one puzzle to have been such a headache. Where's B12? Jail. Okay.
Oh, come on. What have I done? Nice. Oh my. That's not Clementine, is it? I don't think so. Can't believe we got betrayed by a guy named Blazer, dude. Goodness, I'm a kitty cat. Hmm. Guess I gotta do the rooms. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta find my friend Clementine, though. Where's Clem? Oop. How are we ever gonna get to the outside? We don't save Clementine. I saw. I do not need that. Clam! I did it! I'm gonna save you. Oh, yeah, I can't speak your language anymore because I don't have my robot friend. Not old school keys. We love the old school keys. Like the Sheriff of Nottingham over here. All right, Clem, where's my friend? I need your help to save my friend. Plus, he probably has the battery, I would presume. How convenient the bars are just wide enough for a cat to fit through. Yep, very convenient. Cat bars, of course. Where's my friend? I used to think of him as a weapon, but now I know he is my friend. Oh no. Where'd she go? Oh no. <laughs> what do I hear? <laughs> It's my friend! Why is he so special? Hey, 
We've got him in a special cage. Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me save my friend? I guess we found a skeleton key because we sure aren't having trouble getting in anywhere. They got this guy under some surreal surveillance. Tell you what, these uh, these night streams followed by morning streams are gonna be tiring. Where is the sentinel? Ah, oh, not a moving one. Just starting at yellow. Where do I need to take him to? moving. Thought you were going to keep going. Oh, please don't turn around. Ugh. There's got to be a way to do it back here. Man, you don't pay no attention. Oh, they're turned off now. even need to do that I just did just because I'm a cat just because I'm a cat and I'm a cat and cats can do what they want cats will do what they want most convenient security robots yeah you gotta love in the Metal Gear Solid likes where they like just perfectly space themselves out always B12 you're back yay I felt like I was trapped in my last computer system again, all alone. But you came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I'm so I'm so glad that we're all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? We'll find out.
And now I gotta open this door too. to show her a brick <laughs> hey Clementine have you ever thought about mm, bricks <laughs> but have you ever considered bricks before Look, if a cat has to remind you that uh, bricks exist, you might not be quite as smart of a robot as you hoped. Would you look at that? Another door. Those sentinels are blocking the way again. They'll spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. I gotta figure out how to lock it. I see. Hello! It is me, Kitty Cat. Come here. Recovery Center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I am an exemplary citizen now. Oh, we're in the jail. Sneaking intensifies. So these are like lobotomized robots. That's swell. I love this late game mechanic. What do I got to do this time? Got to lock two of them this time? This one should be fairly easy. Oh, I see. Never mind. I can't get the thing! Wait. Did I have had both of them on me? I think I'd have both of them on me. And then lock one side and then run out it. Yep. Please both be on me. No! Curse you! I got one of them. Faster. Nice. I did it, Clementine. I'm the best. Tell me I'm a good boy. Tell me I'm a good boy. Tell me I'm a good boy. Tell me. Tell me I'm good. That was a fun puzzle. I'd like to never do it again. Let me guess, you can't get through there? Stay alert, we aren't in the clear yet. What if I don't want to do this again? 
What if I don't want to do this particular puzzle again? Oh. Good. Uh oh. It's showing me that door for a reason. For the next one. This door, it's the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from that control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room, though. Let's look around. What's up, big doggo? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. How's your day? How's Thursday treating you? We're just being cats over here. Hey, Clementine, I really just need you to launch me up over the thing. That's really all I need. We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Hop on the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. Can do. Then we're just going to ride off into the sunset together. Beep. Beep. Do it. Cat truck! Uh oh. I think we made him mad. Wait for me! What? Wait for me! What are you thinking? Wait! Slow down! Slow down just the slightest bit! Ah! Okay. I'm doing good just listening to positive hit music on Spotify while and uh, while I watch funny as well. Yes, we love Spoofy. Whoa! We're renegades. Subway! Room, room. I made me mom's go. What? There's no way we'll make it with the Sentinels on our trail. Clementine, don't do this! Clementine, don't do this! I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. Don't do this, Clementine! The Outsiders Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. We. Come on! Let's try! You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Go now. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. Clementine! You could have we it the, it's a lock! It's a locked door! We just addressed that they can't get through locked doors, Clementine. We just addressed it. Well now I'm sad. Oh, Clementine, I think we could have made it. I think we could have made it. We just had a whole game mechanic. If I get through here. Oh, dummy. We just had a whole game mechanic about how we can lock them behind doors. Now you're trying to tell me we can't lock them behind doors. That wouldn't further the plot now, would it? I don't see why Clementine couldn't make it with us. Oh. Up here, maybe? Oh, I see. Battery! Battery! 
Neko Corporation. Subway time. I'm gonna drill my way to the heavens. My drill will pierce the heavens. To the outside. Off we go. We got 20 minutes left on stream. How much is left in this game? How much is left? Are we close to the end? Am I gonna finish it in 20 minutes? Or are we gonna have to do another another one? Why is this an area? Makes me a little nervous that this is an area. Just close behind me. No, this is fine. This is fine. I'm fine. Enjoy the world's safest city. You know, somehow I'm doubting that. Look at how nice everything is. Everything's so well kept and pristine. That's fine. It's so quiet. Hello. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. Thanks. Thank you. I am currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. Greetings, inhabitant of Walt City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked through the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Another locked door, you say? How swell. The outside. No, that's what was just below me, wasn't it? Control room! Okay, I need in here. Made it to class trial number one. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. I'm certain we can. Oh yeah, it's a little folly thingy. Follow me. Nice job. Oh, you just chill there, huh? <laughs> okay. I don't even have to tell you to do it. That's fine. I'm gonna guess that somebody had issues with that, huh? Why can't I do it? Why can't I do it? Why can't I do it? Do I need something else? What else could I possibly need? Let's use our big old brains. Let's use our big old brains and see what we can find. Maybe I have to get my paws wet with wet paint? Say my paws are pretty wet. Nope. 
not that. Then we gotta talk to people. Can I talk to you, sir? Hello, the city has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room. That's not helpful. Can I talk to you? Got anything for me? Hello, my current task is to clean the window. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Not helpful. Not helpful. None of you are helping me. Will you help me, sir? Hello, how may I help you? Please head to the leisure area if you have if you'd like to purchase any goods. Nope, I don't want to purchase any goods. Nope. I feel like I should be able to, to scratch the thing. Maybe we have to do it at the same time. Do you have to do this while I do this? Yep. That's silly. That's very silly. Rare! Rare! Oh, it's just open, huh? This is the control room for the entire city. They've controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying. They thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. It was all yellow. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I still carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. All the memories have been gotten. Is it this? Is it this blinking light over here? Is it this ominous blinking light? This is it, the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. This whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. I need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. A likely excuse. Okay. We need you to be powered on. Oh. They're just turning on as I'm walking on. Is it really that simple? Oh, I'm on the keyboards. <laughs> I just realized what was happening. I'm typing on the keyboards. Wake up. That's hilarious. It worked. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. We are gonna open the roof. There, that's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines. You, destroy some stuff. Yes, I will destroy things because I am cat. Okay, cat actually does not know what to destroy. There's one. Do I have to destroy this somehow? Nope. I swear this game, every time I think I know what it's asking me to do, I don't. Okay, I gotta destroy some stuff. It's clearly the three locks. What? Ah, oh, I see. Wow. 
Rare. One down. Oh, he's got to hack him, too. Uh-oh. The, the system is taking more than I expected. No, is B12 going to die? I don't want B12 to die. Oh, no. We've got to keep going. I don't want B12 to die. He was your only weapon. He was my, he was only my weapon. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. I'm not buying it, I think you're, I think you're fibbing to the cat. Why does everyone leave me? He's cooking, dude, look at that smoke. B12, buddy, I have a feeling you're not going to make it. And I just want to say, you were the best weapon robot I ever had. I don't want him to go. I hate to think that this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> That's it, we're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I know the power required to disable the city's neural control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the city and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked onto that first computer. The consequences it could bring. I'm sorry, we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions. And you, let me take that off of you. No! You were my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you. No! No! B12! Don't do this to me! You can't leave me! You can't leave me! No! Don't play with it. Don't nuzzle it. Don't purr in my hands. He's purring in my hands. Oh no. Don't cuddle it. Do not cuddle that robot. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. I didn't want it. I didn't need it. I didn't need him to cuddle that robot. Me right here. Watch him, they're gonna just burst. Man, I didn't need B12 to die. All the robots getting to see the sunlight. Okay, good. So Clementine survived.
the the nudging did me in. The nudging was definitely the hardest part. They didn't have to do that. Oh, I can just choose to stay here forever. He's just purring. Do you hear him? Very sad. But the outside is open. The sunlight is here. The world is upon us. Civilization exists once again. And our little friend B12. All right, trash truck, you're ruining the mood. You're ruining the mood. It's done. It's done, we did it. We did it, B12. We did it, buddy. We saved the world. We saved humanity, you and I. Just a couple of pals. But now I guess I have to go. are open are you just gonna okay I can't talk to you anymore because B12's dead so this is just uh, what it is oh I forgot about this door The birds! There we go. He's smelling the air, that's very sweet. What would have been very appropriate is if they'd had him loaf, do the little loaf at the end. That would have been really nice. Take in his surroundings. Did you see the electri electricity start on the, on the left? Maybe he's still alive. Maybe he's still alive. Maybe B12 is still alive. Chat's in the clap. Chat's in the clap for an excellent game. Stray from beginning to end, very fun. Uh, so the big hot take with Stray has been that it is not long enough. And I want to go on the record as officially saying that I could not disagree more. I think this game was the perfect length. There were still collectibles that you could have gotten along the way. And uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll go back and do that at some point in time, maybe I won't. But that was a fantastic brief game that didn't need to be any longer than it was. It had plenty of puzzles, but the puzzles never got to the point that I got tired of them. Oh, Miko, Jean-Marie, and Simon. Love it. So the characters were the, the characters were named after the devs. That's very nice. There's just no need. There was no need. There was no need to make that game any longer than it was. It was the perfect length. It was an excellent game. Very playable.
Very good. Very good. Always good to roll credits on another game. I feel comfortable uh, saying that that was uh, an excellent game, an excellent experience, and I still, as I said, I disagree. I think this game was the perfect length. Didn't need to be any longer, not another mission longer. I think there was plenty of stuff to explore along the way that I could have done. I guess if anything, like the little collectibles that were in the first village, it would have been nice if they were also available in the second and third villages. Um, and maybe they were, but it didn't feel like they were. It didn't feel like there were near as many side quests, especially in the third city. So, yeah. I could I could afford the time to go back and explore the collectibles, but I, you know, it, it wasn't a must-have. I feel like it was exactly what it needed to be. I'm not going to skip. I'm not going to skip. we got to respect the devs. Respect the devs. We're going to watch the end of the credits, and then we're going to wrap up stream. But we got to watch those credits. we got to thank them for what they did. We stand stray. Oh, look at all these cats. Oh, Ivy and Riggs make me really... And Oliver! That makes me very sad. I didn't need to know that they were gone. Dogs. There were dogs in this game? Another were dogs in this game. Localization team, QA, we stand QA. I gotta order some lunch. Or maybe I'll just go grab some real quick. While we're watching through these, remember, folks, we have a we have a new stream coming up on Saturday. Um, we'll be doing the challenge, the community showdown with Love Thy Nerd and several other nerd communities. And uh, that'll be streamed at 3 o'clock. So we're looking forward to that. Folks, we're Checkpoint Church. I'm Nerd Pastor Nate. I'm really a pastor. We're really a church plant online doing this fun old thing. And, yeah, we're happy that you're here. Happy to have had you be a part of this stream. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out here really quick. Is he in the front? Was he in the front before? I don't think he was. That's super cute. A nice touch. Um, I'm turn off the, the PlayStation here. Folks, as I said, we're really a church. We're really a pastor. We believe three things to be true about every single one of you, regardless of whether or not you believe in God, though. Regardless of whether or not you go to church, like church, don't like church, liked this stream, didn't enjoy this stream. Actually, if you don't like cats, I don't know. I don't know. No, even if you like, even if you don't like cats, these three things still apply. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Uh, and yes, we can certainly raid. We got a small crew today, but we can still raid. Let me go over to the dashboard real fast. Um, I've never, I've never heard of Cross to Crown. So I guess we'll raid them. Or are they just wrapping up? It looks like they might be just wrapping up. Oh, they got me. They got an ad. I can't tell if they're just wrapping up or not. It looks like they might be just off their picture. And I know Love Thy Nerd is just getting started. So we'll do Love Thy Nerd. We'll do Love Thy Nerd. So folks, thanks again. Appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. We're going to go hop on to this Love Thy Nerd stream. Uh, spam some you matters in the chat, folks. I am going to hop off here. But be sure to check us out. Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. Till the next time I see you. Bye-bye.